dear students of 10th class assalamu alaikum today we are going to study a poem the title of the poem is an evening wet with rain it is a beautiful poem written by a dogri poet ved paul deep translated by shiv nath The poem reflects an atmosphere of complete silence to heighten the effect of silence and solitude the poem draws numerous images from nature the poet is in a desperate mood he regrets that the days gone by do not turn the poem is written in free verse style with no rhyme scheme now we will try to learn the poem stanza wise an evening wet with rain as i walk through the land the heart beckons the hands to hold them with love the mind also knows subtle signals of the breeze should i stand on the ground or waft with the wind the poet recalls a particular evening when it was raining and he was walking through a land he was feeling so alone and desperate that his heart was aspiring to be held by some loving hands so affectionately his mind couldn't think anything except feeling the light breeze light breeze the gently moving air this shows that the poet's heart and mind had grown weak and fragile now he was in dilemma whether he should stop walking or keep going wafting and swaying with the wind second stanza of the poem windows doors awnings of the house are wet cool breezes stir the leaves of the yonder banyan tree the collar of my coat is also wet with drops of rain all around rain is silence in this stanza the extensive use of imagery and symbolism makes a reader see through poet's eye the windows doors awnings of the houses all wet with rain at a distance there is a banyan tree whose leaves are stirring by cool breeze the collar of poet's coat is also wet because of the rain the atmosphere around is sad and serious it is perfectly silence all around next stanza my feet are cold with water seeping through my shoes my eyes are heavy with sleep or is it fever the ground is very slippery there is no place to stand the mind is exhausted looks for some spot to rest in this stanza we come to know that the poet is feeling cold in his feet water is seeping through his shoes he is feeling heavy in his eyes it could be due to sleep or fever but he couldn't guess the the ground has become slippery there is no place to stand 
and save oneself from the rain. The poet feels exhausted in his mind. He looks for some place where he can sit. Actually, the poet has grown old and weak, which makes his feet so cold. The poet has lost the hope, which makes him tired. It is only hope that keeps one going in one's life. If there is no hope, The very desire to live ends. Such a person naturally feels tired and exhausted. That is why, that is what happened in the case of the poet also. Dear students, we will stop here and we will discuss the next steps in another video. Thanks.